49 pounds, has taken off 10 with that new diet. He was at 234 in training, and they felt uh, that he uh, may not have enough stamina, so he put on an extra five. And uh, both big guys, Rockman, who loves the jab, 81-inch reach. The rules here in New Jersey. Standing eight count is in effect. Three knockdown rule is in effect. You cannot be saved by the bell scoring in the 10-point must scoring system. This is a 10-round bout. And now here is the champ and the blackboard. Brought to you by Minor Key Discount Muffler, the boxing blackboard. Don't discount the strengths of Hasim Rockman. He is strong, powerful with a good left hook. He's learning with improving skills. Hasim's weaknesses, he only has 17 fights. He's inexperienced and with that lacks stamina. What happens when one hits back? Like former world champion Trevor Burbick, in his 54 fights, his strengths ring savvy. He has a good punch. His weaknesses with age, he lacks speed and mobility. And he gets hit easily. He must be frugal in the early rounds tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Rappaport Productions in association with Budweiser. The undefeated, undisputed King of Beers presents the Circus Maximus main event. Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. The three judges ringside for tonight's action, Alan Rubenstein, Barbara Perez, and Steve Weisfeld. The referee for our main event, Tonight, in the ring, Tony Perez. This fight is scheduled for 10 rounds in that heavyweight division. And introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with black trim, weighing 239 pounds. He has a record of 45 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw, 32 knockouts. He is from Toronto, Canada, now making his home in Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel Trevor. Wearing white trunks with black trim, weighing 233 pounds, with a record of 17 wins, no losses, 15 KOs, is from Baltimore, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Hasim Rock. You may go clean fight and I will not bother neither one of you. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands and most important, protect yourself at all times. Check hands. Good luck to both of you. Rockman does not want to look into the eyes of Burbick. Burbick staring right as, at his opponent. At the age of 31 in 1986, he beat then WBC champion Pinkland Thomas for the World Heavyweight Championship. He held it for just a matter of eight months before he was knocked out in two by Mike Tyson. Tyson becoming the youngest heavyweight champion. That was back when Trevor Burbick had black socks. Now he got his money's worth on these white socks. Holy smokes, there's a lot of... Ooh. Oh, Burbick goes down! Seconds into the fight, reminiscent of facing Mike Tyson. And the veteran quickly goes to his corner. He feels the rock immediately. Trevor Burbick gets a wake-up call. Rockman with 15 knockouts in 17 wins, eight of them in the first round. Now, with the confidence that bore in on Trevor Burbick. The man can punch. That's why they call him the Rock Man. 
Burbick. Burbick better be respectful. There's another right hand that lands. Burbick is hurt again. His 55th professional fight, and he's only been stopped twice. Early in his career against Bernardo Mercado back in 79, and that again in the first round. And then to Tyson, it's all Rockman. Tony Perez looking in. Burbick using the ropes. Is this a rope a or is he hurt? He's hurt, I can tell you. You know what, just like Melvin Foster, he cannot stand there and get hit. The punches don't hurt, but he wobbles. Remember with Tyson, he went down three times and one knockdown. Nice. That's why he lost the three knockdown rule was in effect in that round. He went down, he tried to get up, tried to get up again, tried to get up one more time. Rockman very confident. After just 17 oh, fights. Hurt again is Burbick. Burbick is stunned. Burbick, no retaliation from him. He's got to get that left moving. Rockman is all over him. He's just got a punching bag waiting for him. You got to put Everlast on the top of Burbick's head if he doesn't throw some shots. Burbick just staying along the ropes. Smiling at uh, Hussein Rockman. Rockman knew that part of the tactic of Burbick was some trash talking. There he goes. Says, well, that was, is that it? Well, Hasim Rockman said today, I must win the first round. I think he's certainly doing that. He is, but Burbick seems to have cleared the cobwebs now, although watch his shots. Extremely slow from Burbick. Ever cleared the cobwebs? <laughs> We're talking, well, the about, herbs, his, talking the about his fighting. Yeah. Maybe the herbs do. Well, we're going to have to watch in the corner oh, to see if man, he takes any man. herbs in between rounds. He can use them now. Herbert just laughing in the face of the younger Rockman. Yeah, trying to destroy his confidence, but it is Rockman who is barreling in and scoring. Not only laughing, it looks oh. like he's uh, almost hysterical. He's, he enjoys it. He's cracking up. He loves it. You weathered a hell of a storm there. <laughs> this kid has got to be discouraged here a little bit. He, he gave everything he had. Yep. In the long run, it's going to work to our advantage. Okay? He let a lot go. Oh, yeah. But Trevor, listen to me. He's looking for one punch from you. He's looking for that overhand right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Keep that damn hand up. Yep. You sat there and you, and you were all defense. You took a lot of yep. punches. Okay? We Keep your hands up. I think that's good advice. Keep your hands up. Here's why. Kaboom! What a shot. Right on the chin. And another one. It, the first shot froze Trevor Burbick. That's what you call a Burbick on ice. Whenever a fighter gets knocked out, they say they iced him. Here's a Trevor Burbick and ice. That's a new drink. Rockman comes straight out. Pat Burns in the corner of Burbick. Saying Rockman gave, gave you all he had. He's got to be discouraged now. Yeah, that is, and that and is here, putting a nice spin on it. Hear what he's saying right there? Come on, boy. Come on, punch. Talking to him. Perhaps Burbick gave uh, Rockman every chance to be overconfident coming into the second round. But Burbick saves in 1986. And he was powered to the campus by Mike Tyson, losing his world heavyweight championship. Following that, he did lost to Carl the Truth Williams, also to Buster Douglas, and it was assumed then in 1989 at the age of 34 that uh, the career of Burbick was over. No smiling now, a big right hand from Rockman landed just on the inside. See how Burbick carries that left hand out a bit, he carries it out away from his chin. There's a big hole there that's open. Oh, Rockman goes uh, down low. This is the first main event that he is ever fighting. Goes against the ex-world champion, a very busy Rockman. This is 10th fight in the last year. And you can see the last couple of fights we've seen him really improved his skills. He initially just charged out there. Now he's stalking, he's looking for openings. Now setting up before he's just running in, looking to get get lucky. Not wasting punches. He's not missing the shots. So he used to wear him down, missing so many punches. 
Okay, he has become very relaxed, very poised, an intelligent young fighter, 23, out of Baltimore. Won 17 straight as a pro, 15 by knockouts, but really taking, taking a major step up, even though Burbick is at the tender age of 42. Rock and his last three opponents he's knocked out have had records of 13 and 20, 11 and 11, and 13 and 27. The only guy that's given him some problems, taking a 10, was the veteran Ross Purity. And that's the fight that he compares this one to. He says, they think, Burbick thinks, I'm going to punch myself out early. That's why you see him taking a step back here in this round. He thought I beat myself, he said, of 30. They think I'm young and experienced, but I'm growing, says Hasim Rockman. The question was, what happens when somebody actually fights back against Rockman? In any of his other fights, this fight would have ended in the first. But uh, Burbick uh, had the whereabouts to get back up, clear himself, and get back in this fight. We'll pause now for a word from your local cable system. Lip service with Trevor Burbick. That's the end of the second. Well, the second, and look at the talking. But come on, let's go. Kind of. You get... see, Jake's Morton greeting uh, Rockman back to the corner and says, Don't let him get to you. Just box. Keep that jab in his face all night long. And not play into his game. Trevor Burbick knows all the tricks. Tricks of the trade he's trying to pull out of the bag now. Rockman resets. Rockman has not seen it all. His 17 pro fights. He's not really faced anybody that has given him much of a test. But he thinks he is ready. Oh, yeah, for it's this time one. to step up. And at some point, a young kid has to grow into a main eventer as he was doing in this fight. Rockman. Couple and, and you have to get another big right hand. Now Trevor Burbick talking, waving his arms, but he's scoring points. And that's basically what was said between rounds. Jake Morton said, don't play into his game. Yeah, but Trevor's trying to score points here for later on. Now, we saw Trevor Burbick a couple of years ago against another good, young, undefeated prospect, Melvin Foster. Who at that time was undefeated in his first 17 fights. And it was Trevor who poured it on early. And then, ironically, it was Burbick who had the gas left at the end and stole it and won a decision. And now Burbick inside. Has to go to the body. Rockman with the spin. That's a tough spin trying to wheel the six foot three, 239 pound Burbick around. It's a long way to go around that midsection. And Burbick comes in low. And trying, to, trying to take control. Trying to muscle around Rockman. This fight between a rock and a hard place. So Burbick solid. Another warning by Perez. Watch the hand behind the head of Rockman. Rockman starting with a splash, putting Burbick down in the opening seconds of the fight. If he was counted out, this fight would have not gone 20 seconds. There is that right hand again. Burbick says, let me see that block. Where is it? Yeah, Burbick tries to pull away from that right hand, and he gets just on the outside of the end of it. It's on the outside. He tries to pull some of the power away from it. The shot looks hard. Al Albert and the Tramp, Sean O'Grady, ringside at Caesars We're on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. This is the main event. Former heavyweight champion Trevor Burbick on the left, looking to come off the canvas in the opening seconds of this fight against the young powerhouse Hasim Rockman. 42-year-old Burbick against the 23-year-old Rockman, who has won 17 straight fights as a pro. 15 by knockout, not much of a 
amateur career for The Rock. Six or seven amateur fights. Out of Baltimore, this is his first main event fight against Burbick, who has won uh, five, lost eight with one draw. Burbick, who has faced Larry Holmes, going 15 rounds, unable to wrestle Holmes' championship away, but five years later, at the age of 31, did so against Pinkman Thomas, only to lose in his first defense the title to Mike Tyson. There you go, up and down, Rock, all day long, up and down. There you go. Burbick has cleared the head from the first round knockdown. And now tying up Rockman. Wants to take Rockman in the later rounds. Rockman has been past this fourth round just once in his 17th fight career. That was five fights ago to the veteran Ross Purity. Let's find out what they're thinking in the corner of Haseem Rockman, the champ now with Jenks Morton. Jenks Burbick is talking to Rockman now. How are you keeping him focused and not unnerved? Well, see, he, we train for this. We know he's gonna talk. When he get hurt, he's gonna talk anyway. But see, Rock, as a young guy, he needs to keep punching. There you go, there you go, there you go. Come on. Yeah. See, you gotta keep up. Is this destroying it's, Rock's confidence? It's over. Whenever Burbick it's, over. Gets... it's over right here. He, don't, he should end the fight right here. Burbick's talking to him. Is that going to destroy Rock's no, confidence? No, no, no. He's ready to go. Any trick in the book, he already knows. He already talked about everything. He's well experienced. Not that many fights as a professional, but a whole lot of gym work. And he's showing up now. That's what you see now. What you be doing? All we need now is a jab to keep the old fella off of him. You know, the old Can he go in for the kill now, Jeff? Not yet. Not yet. I don't want that yet. I want to work him a few more rounds. Let him work in a few more rounds. See, we don't need to wrestle. See, an old guy always wins the wrestling match. You have a survivor like Burbick, you might miss the opportunity. Yeah, we take, we take, we take him out. We take him out. Okay. Come on out, Rock. Let's go back over to Al. They're awfully busy over here, but they like what they see for good reasons. Good. Come on, Rock. And it certainly doesn't appear as if the confidence of Rockman has been shaken. Only being shaken in the ring has been Trevor Burbick in this round. The shaking going on in the fourth. Another rock called there by Rockman and uh, Burbick says, "Come on, is that it? come on, but you don't get you don't get points for but, talking." But as Janks told you, that Burbick talks more than he is hurt. Yes, right. You know, he may never win the world championship again, but Boxing Janks Morton says he is on his way to an Academy Award. <laughs> Burbick, the old pro. Yeah, Burbick, who really has never lost a fight if you talk to, to Trevor. In that Tyson fight, he was sick, taking antibiotics. He had no balance in the fight because of that. Oh, now he's steamed. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> Trevor Burbick, very upset that the, would you believe the the dirty tackle oh, of man. Hitting me like that. Yeah. He's hitting me. That's just, that's terrible. Hugging at his, at his, at his tracks. Of course, Trevor feels he could fight for another 10 years. If he does want another shot sure. at the title, says, uh, of course, he would like to fit Mike Tyson into his uh, schedule. So, he'll give Mike Tyson a rematch. <laughs> well, how do, how do you compare Burbick here at the age of 42 with Foreman when he just turned 40 and Larry Holmes when he just turned 40 and continued on? Much different. The, one of the differences, they, they weren't facing the fighters like Haseem Rockman, the, the young fighters on their way up. However, Burbick also is a bit apprehensive here, perhaps living off the reputation. He has a lot of confidence, he's talking a lot, but he's not, he's not even competitive in this fight. Rockman has been winning every round easily, handily. 
Urbic's hands look, the arms look very slow. Yes, he looks, he looks an age 42. And we'll have to uh, up the dosage of herbs yes. after this one, after this round. Down to 10 seconds in the fifth, the scheduled 10 round fight. Yeah, the two really falling into the mode of the fight now. They need some explosions. You're going around. Walk through your corner, please. You're getting hey. there. Ah. Walk through your corner. Just pay attention to me. When you get there, you're not working. Do you understand? Okay. You're jabbing with Thank him. You. Then you're getting close, and you're not generating any okay. offense. Okay? Okay. He's looking for one punch in the right hand. the last yeah. half of the fight now, and you can pull this fight out, but the boy's throwing one punch, and you catch yeah. it, and you're taking it away yeah. from him. Do that. Back 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 back. Okay? And then when you walk up, you need to that left hook to the body. Come back. Thank you. It's bothering him. It bothers him. Come back with the right hand. We move into the second half of the scheduled 10 rounder. Five rounds down. Hasim the Rock Rockman on the left, the youngster who has uh, pulled ahead through the first five rounds on our scorecards, knocking Burbick down in the opening seconds of the fight. Essentially the first big punch of the fight, and then wobbling him again in the fifth. Burbick said, come on, fight the fight. Meanwhile, Burbick hearing in his corner from uh, both Pat Burns and Emmanuel Stewart telling him that you know, when you get in there, you're not working. You're not generating the offense. And here is Burbick screaming at Rockman that he's not fighting. Well, let's get into that Burbick corner. The champ there with Pat Burns. A lot of uh, training for this fight. Uh, terrific team behind Burbick. What, what's happening to him? I don't think he's won around. On, Pat? No, he hasn't won a round, and he's had the opportunity to win a round on, on uh, two or three rounds, and this kid is looking for one punch right hand. Trevor, Trevor will slip it many times, but he doesn't come back with anything, and sometimes he lays her too long. He's been caught with the right hand too much. He's not generating. He's looking for all defense and not generating any offense, but we got we got a long way to go, and he's KG and Trevor Strong, so maybe he'll catch this kid. A trainer of many champions and uh, one who has seen him come and go. Emmanuel Stewart, has he grown complacent here? Well, I think he's just saying the older fighter right now, realistically. And he's doing the best with what he's got to work with. And it's funny, the kid that he's fighting is only doing one thing, basically he's throwing the right hand. All he has to do is if he could just counter the right hand, make it miss, and then throw a counter right hand, he could take the fight possibly and win it. But right now, you're just looking at age and you. The other kid is not doing nothing that impresses me. But, but Trevor, Trevor's not talking to him. Trevor, how, do you, yeah. how do you get him to stop he talking and start punching? Round, we forgot to put the mouthpiece in. I <laughs> admit that. And he talked more than that. That's so, it, Trevor. Make yeah. sure that he get his mouthpiece in, okay? That's the first thing you guys should do. We can get him to talking if you are. Stop talking, we can put it in. There's two mouthpieces in. That's it, that's it. Work in there, Trevor. Okay, a lot of tension over here in this corner, Al. I guess I'm going to send it back over to you. Really rough over here. Uh, you know, with good shot, Trevor. Good shot. With, with Patrick and Emmanuel, I don't even know how Trevor could get a few words in. Trevor, looking good now. Which is a near impossible feat, keeping Trevor quiet. Down to 30 seconds to go in this sixth round. Well, they are confident in the Burbick corner if Burbick only starts fighting. And the irony of it all is Burbick is now taunting Rockman. He wants Rockman to fight. As you heard okay, earlier break, break, before the fight, Burbick wanted Rockman to be in his face. Said, let's fight this one out. That's the world, what the world wants to see, toe to toe. But uh, actually, it's definitely not bringing it to his young opponent. Seventh round action and Trevor Burbick hearing it in his corner. Pat Burns, trainer, making it official here in round seven. Already saying, Trevor, you got to knock him out to win. And Trevor acquiesced over there. He said, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do this thing now. Burns the round we've been waiting for. Come on, boy. Beat you up. 
And here is Trevor back in the corner after the last round. Okay, Trevor, this kid is so vulnerable for the right hand. You're not throwing it. You throw the right hand, you're going to score. You've got to throw it, Trevor. You've got to knock him out to win. Do you understand? You've got to make him fight. Okay? Make him fight. You're in good shape. Okay, I'm going to do my thing now. All right. And there is the mouthpiece going back in. That was very important that they got that mouthpiece in. There is a, uh, for a trainer, there is a new use for the mouthpiece. I thought it was to protect your teeth all these years. It's to keep you from talking. I think that's put a couple of mouthpieces in Trevor's mouth to keep him from talking. But Johnny says he's going to do his thing. What may that be? He has not done his thing any of the first six rounds. And I don't and every time he tries to do his thing, he gets smacked four or five times. He probably is a bit love shy here. Although he is putting the pressure on, but he's also getting hit, putting the pressure on. Trevor Burbick, 32 KOs and 45 wins. He does have some good, respectable power, but he's got to use it. And his punches are extremely lethargic. He's pushing the shots. Not really fluid with his punches at all. Whereas Rockman is. Rockman bouncing on the outside, relaxing, conserving his energy just to throw punches. The body. Middle of the nose left in the seventh, scheduled 10 rounder. I seen the Rock Rockman, 23 year old out of Baltimore, looking for his 18th straight victory as a pro. Certainly would be the biggest on his ledger against the former world champion, although aging at the age of 42. Right before our very eyes, Trevor Burbick. Started aging in that first round. So far, the only thing swinging the mess by Burbick was right back in there. The arms may not be quick and fast. The legs may not be quick and fast. But the mouth is still quick and fast for Burbick. That sounds familiar. Closing seconds of round number seven. Much better round. Much better round. Much better round. Keep throwing that left hook in the body. And eventually you just change it up and shoot it. Look at it and sling it to the chin. That's the shot you want to catch it, but it's a left. Caesars in Atlantic City. Al Albert with the champ, Sean O'Grady. Main event, former heavyweight champion Trevor Burbick. Going up against The Rock. And although Burbick will not admit it, certainly faced The Rock up against his chin. And round number one, just seconds into the fight, Rockman came out blasting away. Hook Burbick wanted to blast away with. Thanks, Morton. Told Rockman he's got to keep that jab going and pick up a little hand speed. And he says, go for it. Maybe you used to talk to him a couple of rounds before, said he's going to go for the, uh, the knockout now after he had shaken Burbick. He said, uh, no, let's take it a few more rounds. What is Jake sensing? But now is the time to do it. Well, see how Burbick is now moving forward to accept the punches of Rockman. You had a little bit more force, more power to punch you. Your opponent is coming at you before Burbick was going backwards. Now I think he sees that Burbick is advancing. He said, though, with Burbick, that he's bringing it to you, meaning he's there for you to hit. Pat Burns telling Burbick coming out for this round, too. Every time you go to Rockman's body, he brings his hands down. They want Burbick to unleash the right, but he has just been ineffective with it. He's probably thinking if you could remove Rockman's right hand from my chin, I could do that. <laughs> In other words, uh, the rock actually was, this time the rock was embedded in the chin. In the chin. In the chin. Right. 
fossilized. <laughs> Corbett's chin was fossilized. And the rock. Well, the crowd thought that this was going to be extremely wild in the beginning. And it certainly has settled down. And uh, so has uh, Burbick. Haven't heard a word from him in this entire eighth round. Must be, must, either he's getting serious or he's getting tired. Or he has, or he has a mounting set for three. Maybe they should stick an orange in his mouth too when he comes back over this. Looking for the home run ball is Rockman. Alright, that's it. Eight rounds down, two to go. Burbick right there in his corner. And uh, Burbick. Really relax. Really relax. <clears throat> Gotta let that right hand go, Trev. Okay? Walk him down. If he jab at me, I will jab at him better. If he throw right at me, I will throw right at him better. If he throw a hook at me, I will throw a hook at him better. Those were the words of Trevor Burbick before the fight. We, did, we have not seen it yet in the fight. A little uh, tough talk uh, earlier by Burbick. No, perhaps he should have that mouthpiece for the interviews when we talked to him before, the day before. Do that left hook to the ear. Yeah. We gotta talk to Pat to the Burns throw about to the chin and he's just he's just missing it. When you throw it, throw it to the ear, okay? It's short right hand yeah, to the left hook. Throw the hook to the ear, Trevor. Stay back, stay back. Trevor will have to try something. He may not want to admit it, but he has to know he is likely way behind in the scorecard and has to pull it out in the last couple of rounds. Find something to unnerve Rockman. He hasn't been able to do it. Actually, the guiding light of the veteran trainer, Jax Morton, really settling Rockman down. Looked like in the early rounds he was susceptible to the uh, trash talk of uh, Trevor Bourbon. But Jenks Morton was uh, just about to see it all. And uh, right now, it's his tutelage of the youngster helping him to get through in this fight. Oh, yeah, outstanding trainer. He's been able to, it's like rock and sock and robots. Rock man, rock man, sock and sock robots. And he's been able to guide rock man through this fight. He's been able to set him down and try to fire him up. Remember the last round, he wanted him to pick it up a bit, try to explode, try to go for the KO. Now by the ninth round, this is only scheduled for 10, and the experience better on like Trevor Burbick can go 10 in his sleep. Trevor has been 10 or more 22 different occasions. Even though he's almost up to sleep tonight, though in the first. He may be going into sleep. I, I tell you, I've known a lot of fighters who've been knocked out in fights, and they don't wake up until they get back in the back. Uh, in the shower, or they wake up in the fight, like they miss the middle rounds, and they, then they are awakened in the eighth or ninth. Well, I think Pat Burns uh, might be looking at this as if Burbick has been uh, fighting in his sleep for the last eight rounds since the knockdown. He just has not seen enough aggressiveness out of Burbick. And his punches. He's been real aggressive in his talking. And he's caught the punches. <laughs> he has he gets hit ugly. When 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 Trevor gets hit, it's it's an ugly sight. <laughs> Trevor Burbick supplying one of the most colorful knockouts in boxing history at the hands of, of Mike Tyson. He really holds a place in boxing history when you, you think of it. Former heavyweight champion. The victory by Tyson over Burbick. Tyson becomes the youngest heavyweight champ of all time. And Trevor Burbick, one of the few fighters to hold a victory over Muhammad Ali in 1981. Ali approaching the age of 40. And, uh, Trevor Burbick with a 10 round decision over the great one.
This is it, Trevor Burbank. A lot of talk before the fight. Says he uh, feels younger at 42 than Rockman is at 23. Going up against one of the rising young heavyweights, Burbank looking to make a statement that he can still contend in the heavyweight division with his experience and at 42 with his new Earth diet. If he could fight for another 52, uh, uh, 10 years till he is 52, but he has not backed it up tonight. And for Hashim Rockman going to 10 rounds for him, he gets the experience that he needs. On his way to getting a victory over a former world champion. And right now it is Rockman looking to take him out. He is swinging from the waist. It would be dangerous too if he leaves himself wide open. Burbank looking for that one shot to dramatically turn it around. And in many fights you see two fighters in that final round who really want to pull it on strong and they leave themselves open. They get the upper cut by Burbank inside. Burbank's thrown more punches this round in all four fights. He hasn't talked. Herbert sensing the urgency, perhaps looking for the sensational comeback victory. Well, that's the only way he's going to win it. Rockman trying to smother those punches. Oh, landing big left hook. Yeah. Just throws Burbank. Took all the steam out of him. Best round of the fight, the final round, we're coming down to the final move. The way Burbick should have been fighting this fight all night. Burbick has tried to run away from Rockman. Rockman's fucked him on the end of his punches. Try to box with him. Down to the body goes Burbick. Oh, nice right hand and a point of the chin. And again, Burbick now is open. Tony Perez looking closely. Rockman right now has Trevor Burbick. And Rockman celebrating right in the face of Burbick. For all the taunting, a little payback for the youngster. Closing seconds of the fight, here I am, says Rockman. And he finishes strong. Starts with power, ends with power. Thanks, Morton, helping to bring him through. The Rock said he was ready for a former heavyweight champ.